Hi friends, I hope you're all well. I am very excited because I have a special guest with me today. This is my oldest. She is 10 years old and in fourth grade, right? And she's been homeschooled the whole time. Has never been to a regular school. Do you like homeschooling? Yeah? And she loves to read. Can you show them your shirt? Her father got her this shirt. I think it is so cute. It says, I'm a bookworm. <laughs> She loves dragons. Um, so she's reading, I mean, I don't even know what level she's reading at now. She can pretty much read everything. Um, so we pretty much let her read what she wants, except I do look at it just for content, basically. Um, her favorite is definitely fantasy, right? Fantasy. And then she also likes some mystery and just some silly books. I don't really know what to call them, but they're, I guess, comedy books, maybe. Silly I don't know. Books silly books um so she has i think 13 right yeah she uh almost she couldn't she couldn't get down to almost 10 almost had 15 almost at 15 so she uh couldn't get down to 10 or less <laughs> i told her so she's got 13 of her current favorite books and some of these are favorite series she loves series and so i told her just to pull one one from each of the series Actually, but she can they might all be series they might, all, they might all be serious. So you'll have even more to look into. But I told her to just pull one from each series. So why don't you go ahead and get started? What is the first book in your stack? What is the this The Unicorn one? Rescue Society. This is the first one. This is the first one of the Unicorn Rescue Society, The Creature of the Pines. And this is a fantasy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to tell them anything else about the book? Oh, there's a, there's a funny honey professor. Her. There's a funny professor, yeah. And the the creature teacher really really likes bars, but not really likes like bars with oats in them, but not the but not the type with raisins. <laughs> okay, this is the creature of the pine there. Yes, yeah. very nice, and that's by Adam Gidwitz. I will try to link all of these below. They may be affiliate links, so if you use them, it doesn't cost you anymore, but just gives us a little extra to buy more books mainly. <laughs> and uh, and so we thank you if you choose to do that. But I'll I'll try to have them all linked there. All right, what's your next one? I'm gonna put this one over here. Dragon Legend, I think it's Dragon Realm series. It's the Dragon Realm series, you think? And, and this, this is the, the second, this is the second book. Okay. Oh yeah, book two of the Dragon Realm series, Dragon Legend. There's going to be a theme here. It goes along with her shirt. <laughs> um, so what is what is this one about? How would you describe this well, one? Oh, at the end, there's a little sad point because they get betrayed. Oh no! Spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> Um, there's a little sad part at the end, but is it, but, but tell me, is it like, is it kids? How old are they? Are they, what's the relationship between the kids and the dragons? The kids ride the dragons. Kids and, ride the dragons. And they can like talk to them. The oh, dragons nice. talk. Nice. Okay. Okay. So that's the Dragon Realm series. How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon. Now, some of you may have seen the, um, Book, the movies. I know I saw the movies, How to Train Your Dragon, which you guys also love, right? Yes. You and your brother love the How to Train Your Dragon movies and the TV series. Is this based, this is this is the book the series is based off of, right? Is it anything like You couldn't like tell we were the same thing. Yeah. The main hero, or still heck of a toothless, but otherwise it's like completely different. Completely different, but you still like it, right? Yes. Still like it. What are some of the biggest differences? Well, for starters, there's no... There, Hiccup doesn't fall in love with anybody. There's no love story, guys. No love story. <laughs> well, Fish Lake says a couple of crazy <laughs> crushes on people, but there's not, like, kissing. There's no kissing. No kissing. She's not a fan of the love stories at this age, right? She'd rather go without them, which is fine. Um, so, okay. And, and, and Hiccup gets to be king. Hiccup gets to be king. What? <laughs> okay. So, How to Train Your Dragon. This is book five. This is your favorite yep. book in the series? My favorite book. How there's to a, Twist a, a Dragon's Tail. There's a funny honey guy in it. There's a funny guy in it. And this is by Cressida Cowell, which is a really cool name, too. So, I wonder if that's a, um, oh, what's that called? A nom de... Do you know what I'm trying to think of? No. It's like a pen name. I wonder if it's a pen name or if it's the, the author's actual name. I'm curious. This is How to Train Your Dragon, a great series, very different from the movies that are based off of it. All right, let's do number four. The Tale of Emily Winstaff. This is the first Ooh. one. There are lots more. Yeah, I think her. I think her grandmother got this for her. Um, she went through like a phase where she was she was learning a lot about mermaids. So this is about. This is actually just from this Christmas. From this Christmas, right? Yeah. Um, wow, there are a lot more on the back here. Let me show them. I just have to say, I really like the artwork. 
on the cover there. Isn't that so pretty? Um, so tell us a little bit about the tail of Emily Winston. Oh, and it's tail, like, like tail. her tail, not, not like a story, which is, it's a fun, oh man, what is that called? Pun? It is a pun, <laughs> but also it's a homophone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, so sorry, tell, tell us more about well, it. That's a girl, she doesn't know she's a mermaid, but she turns into a mermaid when she touches water. That is so cool. You know what? I kind of want to read this. When she's like submerged in water, she gets her tail. Oh, that's so cool. She didn't know because her mom kept stopping her from having swim lessons. Oh, did her mom know? No. Nope. Is her mom a mermaid? No. Her dad was. Oh, so her mom thought she might be? No. There's an entire thing that involves how's, how's her mom being moved and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's intense. Okay. So, The Tale of Emily Winsnap, and this is, what's the series name again? The Emily Winsnap series, I guess. Um, I, I might read this, guys. It sounds really good. It sounds really good. All right. I read it like 10 times in a row. Oh, my goodness. Okay, next one. Hamstersaurus Rex. This is just kind of a silly one, right? <laughs> a hamster turns into a dinosaur hamster mutant. A dinosaur <laughs> hamster mutant. This is by Tom O'Donnell. It's just really funny. <laughs> it's just really funny. What else can you say? All right, let's do the next one. Unicorn Academy. Oh, and these are great for, um, like, once your kids are just past, like, the early readers that I showed you. I'll, I'll link it here. I had an early reader book shelf tour video. Um, this is an easy chapter book, I would say, right? Yeah. Um, it's we short. Can, yeah, it's short. We can show them kind of what the text looks like because that's sometimes helpful for people to see. Um, so this is, I think, the easiest one you have in your pile. Oh. This one, too. And this one and the next one? Okay. So, the Unicorn Academy, is this your favorite of the series? It's one of them. One of them, Scarlet and Blaze. I mean, who doesn't love unicorns, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know of anybody who doesn't love unicorns. So, uh, is the, are the people in the Academy learning to ride the unicorns, or is it an Academy for unicorns? It's the Academy for Unicorns and the Riders. Oh, okay. I get it. I get they it. They get nice. paired together. Nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's by Julie Sykes. So... This is one of her favorites, but there's a lot in the series. And if you I have some, I don't even have them all. We don't even have them all. Oh no. my goodness! There are lots of books we don't have all of them. Uh, we, there are a lot of these series we don't have all the series, so we're working on it, right? Mm -hmm. Some of her favorites we do. Have. There, are, there are a lot of books. All right. So, so this one apparently is also an easy one. She says, "Yeah, yeah." Tell me about this one. Dragon Masters. Dragon Masters. There, it sort of reminds me of the Unicorn Academy because the the kids and the dragons are both like training and learning together. Okay. The kids use dragon stones to connect cool. with the dragons. Is this the first one? No, it's eighteen. Oh, this is number eighteen. And there are, and as far as I know, there could be like a hundred. <laughs> and there could be more. This there is heat, heat of the Lava Dragon. So this is number 18 in the series. What's, do you know what number one is? Rise of the Earth Dragon. Rise of the Earth Dragon, okay. Rise of the Earth Dragon. Rise, Rise of the Earth Dragon, sorry. So I'll have both of them linked below. So in case you want to get the first one in the series first. Um, and let's look at what the, oh yeah, this is good. There's lots of pictures and it's pretty easy yeah, text. It's like so picture. that's going to be a good early one. Hopefully we can get your brother to read these soon. It'll be good. You can share. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. Oh, I like the next one. Nancy Drew Diaries. The Nancy Drew Diaries. So these are like the newer version of Nancy Drew. Some of you, I mean, um, my parents read Nancy Drew when they were kids. That's kind of how old the Nancy Drew series is. So this is a newer reboot, I think from like the 2010s, like in there, the 20-teens. This um, is my favorite one I have so This is far. your favorite one? What's ha What happens in this one? This is Once Upon a Thriller. It's a, there's books. There's books. It's a, <laughs> it's a book, book about books and a mystery. There's a, a bookshop gets burned down. Oh no. And and I won't tell you who did it. But there's That's like good. a local author who's a suspect. Okay. Okay. And Nancy solves the mystery as usual. Well, maybe I have to read this one too. We read together. What's the one we read together? Uh, was it? It was Nancy Drew Advancing Statues, maybe. Maybe, yeah. It was an art, art heist. It's like 20. It's number 20. So number 20? What number, number is 20 this one? 21. This is... Oh, four. four. This is number four. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. We read it together and we did a book club talking about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this one sounds really good too. Nancy Drew Diaries. Oh, I'll show you. This is probably the next level up from the ones we were just showing you. Sorry, I didn't show you the first ones, but I think most of those are on the more difficult side. Um, 
I honestly don't know what is a fourth grade level. I kind of lose track of what the grade levels in reading are. I find each kid to be really um, individual as far as what Four they can to read. The final by. five. We're down to the final five. Excellent. Let's do the next one. Dragon's Milk. Dragon's Milk. And this is, this is the, the Dragon the Dragon Chronicles. The first of the Dragon Chronicles. All right. What is this one? Well, there's a girl named, I think it's, yeah. Caldra? Yeah. Caldra. Yeah. We'll go with it. She sure. can talk, talk, she can talk to dragons because she has green eyes. Oh, I have green eyes. Does that mean I can talk to dragons? <laughs> Maybe. Cool. We'd have to find a dragon to find out. Mm, good point. All right. And she babysits Draklings is what they're called. Draklings. The baby like dragons that. so the mother can hunt to get dragon's milk to save her foster sister. Wow. Okay. And so the is the mother dragon and she takes the baby and she goes on journey to take the baby dragons to where they can be safe. Okay. Spoiler alert, one of the baby dragons dies, so that's the sad part. But the, other okay. ones are, but the other ones are okay. So this sounds like it's a little intense. Might not be yes. for like a super sensitive soul. person. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. That's a good note. That's a good note there. Okay. That's why I would warn everybody before they read it. And this looks like it's from a trilogy, The Dragon Chronicles. Is it a trilogy? I don't know. Maybe? I think All there right. might be a fourth one. But oh, okay. This is Susan Fletcher, Dragon's Milk. And this is the first one, right? Mm -hmm. In The Dragon Chronicles. Okay. All right, let's do the next this one. This is a graphic novel, oh, City graphic. of Dragons, The Awakening Storm is the first one. Okay. I know there's a picket one. Cool. Let's show them some. It's graphic novel. Nice. Lots of pictures. If you have a reluctant reader who's like, I mean, good at reading but doesn't love to read, graphic novels are a great way to get them into it. All right. You want to tell us a little bit about the story? Um, there's a girl and she receives, well, I'll, st and she receives a dragon egg from an old woman. Okay. And dragon egg hatches, and she makes her and some of her friends, who she makes, takes. I think she's sort of makes them a long way because of the dragon. Okay. And 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 they go out to out to stop up up an evil emperor from arising. Ooh, they're stopping an evil emperor. But I will warn that the beginning for the book, her dad dies. Dies from it's thought to be cancer, but actually it's radiation poisoning. Oh, okay. So another warning. That's a good thing. A good warning. There are there are babies that are trying to get into the library as we're doing this. Um, so that's what the noise is. It, it seems like a lot of classic children's books. I know, like, but one or both parents die at the beginning, so she has that's a kind of a common. But so at least she has one. I guess. But her stepdad's evil. Oh no! Wow, there's a lot going on in this one. So it looks kind of long too. Is it a little long? Yeah, I still read them less than a day. Yes, you are a super speedy reader. All right, let's do the next one. It's another other graphic novel, okay. Katie the Cat Sitter. I think cool. the second one just came out last year. Did it? So these are newer. Do you series. have this? Do you have the second one yet? Nope, because oh. it just came out like fall. Present hall, idea. Like fall hall of hall of last year. Okay. Yeah, like well, fall twenty twenty two. Good present idea. Okay, you gotta stop bouncing. She's yeah, a bouncer for her, so for her sitting still this long is a little hard. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. She, okay. she, he wants to go to camp, so she's saving up money, and okay. she watches 217 cats. 217 cats. Which are actually, because her name, but her neighbor's neighbor who she cat sits for is, is actually, actually, is a, actually a super villain, but she's not actually a super villain. It's just everybody thinks she's a super villain. Okay, then. This is Katie the Cat Sitter. A graphic novel again, yeah. Nice. Alrighty. And and that's by who is it? Colleen A. F. Venable and Stephanie Yu. Well, Katie only has her mom, but no neighbor says anything else to her dad, so I don't know. That. Oh, okay. Well, we don't just need to worry stuff. about that. Okay. And this one's just really fun. Are these your top two that yes. we're coming to here? I feel like these are her top two because she loves these ones. Okay. The Great Pet Heist. Yes. It's just hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bunch of pets, right? Yep, and their owner has to go to the hospital. She ends up being okay. That's good. But they plan a heist, heist to like find money and steal it so that they can feed themselves, and they just do it hilariously. They, I mean, she has read this so many times, and every single time I can hear her <laughs> laughing from across the house. So, yes, it must be a funny, good one. So if you want something really funny. <laughs> And there's a follow-up. Do you remember the name of it? Um, the Great Ghost Hoax. The Great Ghost Hoax. So, uh, not not quite as good, right? Yeah, not quite as hilarious, but still pretty funny. Still pretty funny. So, this is a great gift idea. There you go. And it's by Emily Ecton. 
There you go. And the number one book and book series. You can see what's Wings coming. Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire. She loves the series. We actually you can tell it's a well loved book. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. um, this is Tui T. Sutherland. And we actually did the first, did we do the first one or just the first two? two? We did the first two as family read-alouds a couple years ago now. And my husband did not want to continue with them. We like to switch it up anyway, um, but she loved them. And so my father started getting them to her, and this was during the pandemic, right? And so he was reading to her and her brother over Zoom. They were reading the book together, and then eventually he just got her all of them. Um, so she has all of them, including, is there two or three prequels? Um, well, there's, yeah, there are two prequels. Okay. There's one that takes place like during the first five and one that takes place 2,000 years before. Wow, okay. And then there, there's like, there's 15 now, right? Yep. 15 books and they each, they go in like cycles of five, right? Yep. Five stories of five, five dragon maths. Yeah. So it kind of switches where they are, we're all in the same world. Yeah. Um, and they often meet characters from like the previous five. Right. And so this is following dragons, <laughs> often young dragons. And um, I, I want to put a warning in that it is a little violent. So, again, if your family or your child is sensitive to that, just a heads up. Um, I don't really worry about her. She seems okay, and she obviously very much enjoys them. There's a one-year-old playing the piano. <laughs> okay. All right, so here, you want to hold this? Ten is my favorite. And this is number ten? Yeah, it's my favorite. This is Darkness of Dragons? Is that yeah. what it is? This is her favorite. Why is it your favorite one? I don't know. It just is. Okay. What are the... There's different types of dragons. So what are the types of dragons in this one? There are seven on the first continent. Okay. And three on the second continent. Oh, wow. Okay. What are the three on the second continent? Um, so hulk wings. Silk wings. Leaf wings and high wings. They all have wings. Mm -hmm. Nice. Seven. Very nice. Um, but I think makes them sound more tied together. Yeah. And the original was, let's see, rain wings, sand wings... Mud wings. Mud wings. Sea wings. We sea wings. Said. Oh, yep. Sea wings. We didn't. I didn't say that. What am I missing? Is it the Ice wings. Sky wings. Ice wings and sky wings. Okay. Oh, and night wings. Yep. There's so many. There's so many different kinds of dragons. The it's night wings are thought so that they can read minds and see the future, but they can't for the first five books. They can. Okay, that seems like a spoiler to me. <laughs> okay. Well, I really appreciate you doing this with me, Munchkin. Thank you. And um, if you guys have any questions for her. Let me know, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye.